Hi, it's Natasha. Thanks for visiting my channel today. I have a power yoga or yoga fit class, so it's going to be a fitness-based yoga. Um, we're going to flow through different combinations to get your heart rate up, build strength and mobility. Let's start in a malasana, if that's comfortable for you. If malasana is not comfortable, it's that low yogi squat, then go ahead and grab a block and you can sit up on a block and um, just kind of allow your joints and the ankles and the knees and the hips to get accustomed to that low squat. All right, so let's go ahead and drop in. For some people, this is very comfortable and some people, they're up on the toes and that's okay too. So again, you can sit up on a block or maybe roll up a towel or um, your mat under your heels. So we're just gonna drop in, start to draw the knees in and out with the elbows. Adductors, pull the knees in, elbows meet. Outer thigh, abductors, and the elbows pry the knees apart. Do that again. Inhale, draw the elbows to touch, knees to touch. Exhale, pull it apart. And then bring your hands outside, fingertips wide. And just settle here, releasing the muscles in the face, forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue. Taking a quiet moment inward checking in with the body and how you're feeling in this moment, trying to let go of outside distractions, come into the body, into the mind, onto your mat, starting to focus your awareness on the breath and starting to deepen the breath. Inhale, big sigh out, exhale, like you're trying to fog a mirror with your hot breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely, letting go any stale air, let it out of the body. And then finding any natural breath that works best for you today, whether it's a Ujjayi Pranayama breath or just any natural breathing. Take your right hand to left ankle and then side bend. You can bring the hand behind the head at the base of the skull, pry the elbow up, pull the knees apart. And you can take that left hand and just gently press through the inner thigh as you drop the head down. Nod it, nod, yes, and shake it out now. Other side, left hand to right ankle. Push, lean, swing that uh, right arm up, elbow to sky. Elbow up, twist and breathe into that side stretch. Take the hand into the right inner thigh and just push away and then drop the head heavy. Shake it out, yes. And no. Come back through center, forward fold. Face the top of your mat, lift up through the hips. Let the heavy head fall forward. Shake it out, no. And yes, grab your opposite elbow and just kind of hang here, allowing gravity to take over, bringing in flexibility through the back side of the body, all the way up the legs, down the spine, and even into the neck. Just hang here. Let it feel good. And then think of activating your quad muscles, pulling the kneecaps upward, trying to create even more length down the back of the legs. Ragdoll up, roll up the vertebrae, up to mountain pose. Roll the shoulders back a few times, and we'll sit into our chair pose. Swing the hands to the ground and up to the sky. Utkatasana to the toes, to heels for four. Up and drop in, three, and sit. Here's two, sit deep, one, take a toe stand, lower down. Onto the tippy toes, balance. From toe stand going into halfway forward fold, crown of the head shoots forward, heels drop back, tailbone to sky. So toe stand, balance, heels towards, glutes towards heels, and halfway fold. Palms back, engage triceps. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, lift the tailbone. Toe stand, two more. Exhale, half fold, charge the heart, and gaze forward. Toe stand, whoo, balance, and halfway fold. 
Then reach back up through mountain, inhale, arms rise. Take your thumbs to the base of the neck and send the heart forward here. Hips forward, feel the quads and hip flexors, creating a little space there and pushing the chest up towards the sky. Big breath in. From here, forward fold, reach the arms up. Take those palms to the base of the neck. Inhale and exhale. Bring it up. Inhale and forward fold. Let's do one more like this. Inhale, palms to base of neck, gentle back bend, heart to sky. You can rest your head back into your thumbs and exhale, forward fold, palms up. Stay here. Hands go down, inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands down, bend the knees as much as you need to, and then just start to crawl back to plank. Crawl forward to forward fold. Walk back to plank two more times. Walk it in, walk it back. Shoulders over fingertips, protracting. Climb it in, bend the knees if you need to. Stay back. Open your feet, maybe shoulder width apart, and then start to just jet the hips laterally. So they're on the same plane, moving side to side. Feeling those obliques, side body, pull the belly towards the spine for four more. Three, one plane, two, and one. Knees down, melt the hips down, find cobra. Move here, your range of motion, taking gentle back bending. Back through tabletop. Cat cow, slide the hands back under the shoulders, round the spine, and arch. Pull the mat backwards, push the mat forward, cat the back, pull the belly in. Inhale, lift, exhale, curl. Inhale, lift, exhale, curl. Come into neutral, and then just again, think of lateral hips. This time think of crunching the hip towards the shoulder, working again into those obliques, obliques so side body crunch. <sighs> Exhale, pull the belly towards the spine for four, three, like you mean it, two, and one. Come back to center. Spinal balance, right foot back, left arm forward. Push the right shoulder down. Take a moment here to breathe. Check in with the core. Stretch the limbs even further. Left hand down, tuck left toes. Down dog split, knee drops. Extend, down dog split. Find your range of motion, lower down. Knee melts, toe lands. Press away, lower down slowly. Press away, lower down, stay in a hovering position and then swing the right knee in and out for four. Three, two, we got this, and one, you can land. Left foot back, right arm out, press the left shoulder down, scoop it through the belly, slight pelvic tilt to find that neutral spine, not arching. Pull the limbs apart, pull the belly in, reach, 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 feel the glutes firing. Big breath in and out. Take the hand down, tuck the toes, down dog split, Lower down, knee slowly lands, left toenail touches the mat. Push, down dog split, slow lower. Two more down dog split, slowly lower, land the knee. This time, down dog split, don't lay on the knee, hover the knee, tuck the knee in for four, up to the shoulder, armpit, three, right knee's hovering low, two, whew, one, we warm yet? Take your hovering knees and twist them. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Body roll. Take your tidal wave and take a cat back forward and a cow back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Uh, bending the knees, round forward, bend and swoosh back, two more, round, and arch, and round, and take your downward facing dog. Take the knees down for a couple breaths in child's pose. Swing the hips from side to side, and now is maybe a good time to 
put a little bit of compression into the top of the hands to just counter stretch the wrists. You can rock here, halfway lifted, flat back, and then fold in deep. So at any point you need to come into child's pose or any restorative pose for you, we are gonna get the heart rate up quite a few times. We're also gonna practice jumping into handstands. You don't need to be able to hold the handstand. It's just about getting the heart rate up, building strength and control. All right, from your extended child's pose, round up, step the right foot forward in a balance, low lunge. So we're gonna sink the low lunge, and then we're gonna scoop in to a 90-90 neutral pelvis or even a pelvic tilt. Now sit back on the heel, flex the foot. Can we balance and lift the right leg up? Whew. Balance here, come back, low lunge, Neutral low lunge, balancing back on the heel. One more time. Low lunge, sink, feel the back hip flexor and quad. Scoop into that neutral position, pelvic tilt, squeeze belly to spine. And then balance on, heel towards glutes, point flex, quad, hip flexor on, and then come on back to child's pose. All right, left leg's gonna come up, round up the spine, balance through left leg, low lunge. Anjane asana, pull the arms behind the ears if you can, open up, up through the shoulders and the chest, hip flexor, scoop into neutral, you might draw the foot in a little closer, tuck the pelvis, shortening range from hips to ribs. As you tuck, squeeze everything, feel the length from the quad, hip flexor, and then shift back balance. Whew. Hold it here, point flex, circle, pop up. Step, low lunge, neutral, zip up, balance. It's okay if you need to grab onto the mat with your fingertips, try not to. Low lunge, zip up to neutral, pelvic tilt, and drop in to your balance. You're sitting on your right heel. Pop up, lower the knees. Gentle camel, pry the heart open. And round. And two more, exhale, heart to sky. Squeeze shoulder blades, push the hips forward. Squeeze the glutes. One more time, round and arch. Take your hands down. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. And here's where we're gonna start to bounce and jump into little tucks. Squeeze the belly towards the spine. Push the shoulders forward towards your fingers and use your fingertips as breaks when you're ready to start to tuck thighs to chest. Thighs to chest. Four. Three. Two, maybe you hold, maybe not. Stay down, have a seat. Circle out the wrists, find boat pose. Circle the shoulders, and just breathe here. Quads are on, pull the belly in as you try to lift the legs higher and higher for four, three, two, one. Back to downward facing dog. So we're gonna swing the feet in, shoot the arms forward, jump back. Jump forward this time, spring off to your tuck and land right by the hands. Tuck and land. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Are we sweating yet? Shimmy, shake, shake out the wrists, circle them. Reverse swan up to sky. Exhale, hands, heart center. Feel the heart beating. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Back to Utkatasana, chair. This time jumping chair, spring up, spring down. Four, three, two, one, tiptoe balancing. Woo. Low, toe stand, halfway fold, toe stand, halfway fold, toe stand. Forward fold all the way. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale if you're ready, jump back. Chaturanga. Plank. Chaturanga. Plank. How about knees, chest, chin? Modified plank. Knees, chest, chin. Modified plank, belly to the earth. Bring your hands wide, fingertips down, rolling cobra. Roll up, roll down, roll up, roll down. Engage the glutes, heels towards the sky. Shimmy, circle the neck, shoulders away from ears, and release. When you're ready, maybe upward facing dog, hands back by the chest, pop up to the top of the feet. Pull the heart through the shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and side out. Hold here. Right leg lifts. Bend the left knee. Pull the right knee higher and gaze forward. We're gonna bounce off the left foot and bring the left foot forward into an L handstand position. Right leg to sky, left foot pops forward, right foot steps back, and we're gonna just keep going with that a few times. So now left foot lifts, down dog split. Bounce the right on the right toes. Left leg to ceiling, right foot steps forward into lunge. Maybe you get a second at the top of it as you float the right foot forward. It's okay if you don't. Step back, two more. Left foot bend, left knee bends, hop, right foot to sky, left foot floats forward. Low lunge, down dog split, left leg up. Bend right knee, left foot to sky, L, right foot forward, low lunge. Stay here. Right hand forward, left heel taps in and out, four, Three, tap left toes to right heel. Two, one, add your twist. <sighs> Twisting lunge, pull the right arm to the ceiling, pull the belly in, root lock. Left shoulder pushing down, and then open up to horizon. <sighs> so we're making this big circle, feeling external rotation on the right hip, left hip flexor, melt the hip down, and also maybe let the, uh, the shoulder lift up, slouching into it for a moment so you feel that left side body stretch. Come all the way back, Skandasana. Other side, we just flipped our bodies. Come back, twisting lunge. Open up horizon. Come back, Skandasana, same side, same foot, face away. One more time, twisting lunge. Horizon, open hips, swing, ooh, his hip to the mat. And all the way around, Skandasana. Bring it back through, low lunge. Tap the left foot in and through. Have a seat. Make it here, roll down the spine. Press up through bridge, left leg to sky, peel up to bridge. Feel the quad, the hamstring, the glutes. Lower down, tuck the chin, follow the left leg as you rise. Lift up through the heart. Can we come up through pistol? Fingertips down, swing hips up as the left foot goes back. Step back through vinyasa. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing up. Left leg up to sky. Chest towards toes, fingers gripping down. Right knee starts to bend as the left leg lifts. L handstand, hop forward, float to lunge. Right foot back. Left knee bends, gaze forward, right toes to sky. Left foot floats in, low lunge. Down dog split, two more. Right knee bends. Right foot steps forward, left foot to sky. See if you can float, hover for a moment or two. Right foot back. Left knee bends, right toes to sky. Left foot forward and down. Lunge, back foot taps in, four, three, two, 
one. Twisting lunge. Stack shoulders, stack ribs. Press the earth away with the right hand. Scoop the belly in. When you're ready, horizon twist. Melt into the right shoulder a bit. Sink the right hip down. Breathe. Push the shoulder down and sweep Skandasana. Other side, you can circle out the wrist here. Maybe you sit or you're hovering. Two more times like that. Twisting lunge, horizon, circle, hips swing down, hips swing up, Skandasana. One more time. Twisting lunge, horizon, hip stretch, reach up, Skandasana. Back through lunge, right foot taps left heel, this time swing through, have a seat. Abdominal roll down slowly. Three, two, one. Right foot up, peel off the spine. Powerful single leg bridge, hold, fight. Lower down, tuck the chin. Follow the right toes as you lift up. Fingertips down, lift your booty. Swing the hips back. Step back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Take a breath here. Walk your hands back, malasana on the back of the mat. And maybe you're gonna circle out those wrists. Counter stretch or even go ahead and sit on the forearms behind the knees. This time, jumping straddle handstand. Malasana to frog or hop. You're gonna to try to straddle the legs. I don't have a lot of space here, so I'm gonna try this. And use your fingertips as breaks. Push the shoulders down. If you get too much momentum, try to open the hips and just cartwheel out. Um, we're gonna just come to Malasana at the front of the mat. So you're gonna charge the hands forward, lift the hips, slide forward, straddle, and land. Malasana. Same thing on the way back. Jump the hips up and then push yourself back to what you started. Try that a couple times. Malasana frog, hop forward with the legs opening to a straddle. Get the hips up over the shoulders, maybe. Jump forward, straddle. Jump back, straddle. And have a seat, boat pose. Yeah, when you're ready, let go. And wherever that is for you, if you're modifying, maybe the feet are just hovering halfway or all the way. And then add the arms in for four, three, two, one, downward facing dog, Malasana, jump down dog. Pedal and turn, twist one knee under the other for four, three, two, and one. Get ready to hop forward. Your style, whatever that is, if you're working on floating, you're going to imagine you're trying to jump over a tall block under your chest. Block is there, hips up and down. Halfway lift, exhale, flush it out. Shake, shimmy, sway, root to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're sweating yet? I know I am. All right. Chair pose, twisting chair, cross, chair to twist. So maybe your elbow hooks, chair pose and twist. It's okay if it doesn't, we'll just reach across the mat for four more. Three, two, one, forward fold, release that. Halfway lift, your vinyasa. Jumping back to chaturanga, stepping back, skipping the push up, adding some extra ones, possibly upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, right leg swings up. Pigeon pose, right knee tucks, tucks, tucks. Right knee to right wrist. And we get a moment, a couple of breaths to Restore, recover, 
hang out here. Try to slow the breathing down. It's gonna be a little bit of a funky transition. We're gonna go from pigeon to pyramid. And just remember your fingers and toes are not glued down. You're gonna have to make weird and movements and adjustments on the mat. Sway here, allow that right hip to just find that external rotation. Maybe you start to walk the left toes back. Power it up, lower down, up, hips up, hips melt behind heel. Good, so from your pigeon, you can use your fingertips, tuck the back toes under. You're gonna end up going left diagonal to push the earth away and then step on the back foot and you're in a pyramid pose, left hip forward, right hip pulls back. Front knee can stay bent or you don't have to go as deep. Blocks might be handy as well. So we're gonna, like we did that kind of jumping malasana, you might wanna charge the hands forward and rotate back through pigeon pose. Practice that a few times. Keep the left toes tucked under, push flat palms or fingertips, prop up to your right foot, left foot might step out. A couple inches, hands down, swing back, pigeon. Press, lift up, pyramid. From pyramid, you can adjust yourself to the middle of the mat. We're gonna take triangle pose trikonasana. Maybe you lift your right hand onto your shin and rotate left hand to sky. Pull the arms in opposition. We are not slouching downward. We're pulling the energy apart. You might even just hover the hand for a moment. Engage this left glute, peel the hips up to stack. Reverse triangle. Keep the legs straight and reach back. Heart towards sky, to the left quad and hip flexor. You can even press your left hand into your hip and draw back a little bit deeper. Back through triangle, back through pyramid. So again, blocks might be handy here or you're gonna use fingertips. We're gonna try to elevate this front foot. Push down, cat the back, plug the femur upward. See if you can create space with this front foot hovering and land. Let me try that again. Push the earth away, all effort. Fingertips will give you more space. Push, hover, all effort and land. Now. Fingertips backwards, thumb forward, bend the knees to meet. Can you hamstring curl the left heel, push into the hands, same action. Shoulders pushing down, cat back, hug in. Good, floating flamingo, floating pyramid. Hug, uh, maybe flex the front toes. <laughs> Take a moment to play with that action or just hang out in pyramid. Big breath in and out. Come back through Trikonasana, triangle pose, perhaps deeper. We're going to bend into the back knee. Shift left hand forward, square out the hips. That balance we did in kneeling at the beginning of class, find it here. Moving through camel pose, swing the hips up, bend the knee under. Camel pose Ustrasana may be a little deeper than that first time we visited. Hands can support the low back or pull the ribs upward. Awesome job. Tuck the chin, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Left leg up. Left knee tucks in, shoulders protract, left knee to left wrist, find pigeon pose. Swing the right hip forward, pull the shoulders down, get comfortable here. Play around with movement, lifting hips, lowering, wiggling. Good. 
pressing the palms down, tuck the back toes under. Remember, we're going to pyramid pose. So we're gonna push the earth away, step onto the left foot, the right foot will step to the side. So you're just either lined up or slightly hip width apart. Whatever works in your body, right hip forward, left hip back. Relax here and then look forward. Go back where you came from. So you might even just kind of dive for it and then slow landing. So I'm only maybe that last moment of flow before I can come back down to pigeon. Push the earth away, step on the front foot, step on the back foot, pyramid pose. Gaze forward, land on the hands, lower, swing the knee out to the side, hip rotation into pigeon. One more time, press away, find your pyramid, and then maybe walk yourself to the middle of the mat. Take some breaths here, and let the head just pull you down, opening up through that front hamstring, fingertips down, aligned with the front toes, push the earth away, see if you can hover the left foot. Try that a few times. Maybe you even try it on flat hands. Very hard to find space there. Push, float, and land. Fingers backwards, thumbs forward. Right knee meets left knee by bending. Push the shoulders down, press into those fingers, hug the right heel in. Turn on the core to hold it, it's tough, and use the hamstring to kick the heel in towards the glutes. Get back through pyramid, opening up to triangle pose. Maybe left hand walks up to shin, stack shoulders, peel right hip open by turning on that right glute, pull arms apart, squeeze into the belly, engage, and breathe. Now float into reverse. You can take the right hand into the hip and press into it as you reach back. Back through Trikonasana, triangle. We're gonna bend the bottom knee, turn the hips forward, and come back to the position. So in a kneeling twist, take your palms forward, shift onto the back, the top of the back foot, and into that balance. Left foot floats, sit on your right heel. Woo! See if you can hang on to it. Push your hips forward, quad strength, core, bring the knees aligned, about shoulder width apart, and then maybe taking even a deeper uh, camel pose, you could tuck the toes under, try to reach this time to, towards your heels or ankles. Big breath in and out, heart shining up to the sky, not dumping into the low back. Tuck the chin, chaturanga, hands down, jump back, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, pedal, breathe, twist, come down to forearms. We can try a few of those, elbows to hands, elbows to hands, stay on your forearms for dolphin. All right, let's come down to the knees. And I'm just going to explain what we're doing. You can rest or you can hold dolphin pose. We're going to take dolphin pose to a handstand. Sounds weird, but you're going to take off from your forearms and then pop up to the hands and jump. It's easier than it sounds and looks. So it's okay if you can't do anything. It's all about playing. Bring your toes under. Find your dolphin. Bend your belly lands on your thighs. So I'm gonna get my jump and by just springing off the toes, lifting the hips and pop, pressing onto the hands. So it'll look like this, hover, push the hands down, jump the hips up, and you could take a pike up or a tuck, which is a lot easier. All right, come down to down dog, dolphin, and you can rest or work on that a little bit. Just play with it, going from forearms to bend, look forward, press into the hands, maybe you tuck up, hands, knees in, and come back, down dog, dolphin, 
child's pose. You might take more time. You can always pause the video, work on things longer. Take a couple breaths in child's pose if you need it. All right, we're gonna take a counter stretch on the wrists, or I'm going to, and again, you listen to your body, do what works, maybe you're still playing with that fun move. Swing the hips, cat, cat. From here, we're gonna do a little series of kick throughs. Bring your hands down under your shoulders, tuck onto the toes, and kick through. Opposite leg goes between top arm and bottom arm, hover, kick through. You can do these nice, slow and controlled, or you could add a little pop up. Little handstand, baby handstand, top kick through. Two more, one, kick through. Bring it back to hover, flip onto the feet, rag doll up. We are now at the back of the mat. We're gonna take a big step forward to warrior three. Swing the right leg up, hold. Scoop in through the belly. Lift the ribs away from the hips. Big step as far as you can walk forward. Warrior three, left hip down. Reach the arms in opposition. Soften the right knee. We're going down into lunge. Chaturanga, right leg swings back. Now scorpion, flip. Find your right toes down and take a little wild thing stretch. Right leg is going to now swing under threading the right knee under and through. Take an upward facing dog with the right leg threaded. So I don't have a lot of space. We're going to lower down, our legs meet, and then top legs floats back. Feet meet, float back, push the earth away. Knees to our hip chest chin, toes meet, feet meet, bring it back, Push away. Now right leg threads out to half frog. Float it out. And you're here. Knee outside of hip. Elbows can be bent or lengthening. And lower down here for three, two, and one. Breathe here. Step the left toes back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Down dog, walk back. This time, ragdoll up, left foot swings up, quad hip flexor core, hold it. Pull the pelvic floor in as you lift the, or tuck the pelvis forward. And then step, big step, charging warrior three. Pull the limbs in opposition, tuck that right toe, hip down. Lengthen, 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 find lunge. Hands down, three-legged chaturanga, the right knee can come down if you need it, or you're here, three-legged chaturanga. Bend the left knee, swing the knee up, and find wild thing. Hips up, heart up, chest proud. Tuck left hand down, swing that knee under, and slide the hips down. Lower chest to mat. Feet meet, swing back, push away. Lower, feet meet, swing back. Top leg swings back, lift and lower one more time. Meet, open, press away. Now left knee floats to the outside, frog legs. Right hip sinking, elbows can be bent or press them straighter and straighter. Three times. Two, cover those arms, and one, chaturanga, tuck the right toes, elbows bend 90 degrees, upward facing dog, child's pose, Whew. all right, wiggle those hips, we are almost done, check in with the body, maybe you need some water, towel, we're going to just flip ourselves all the way over. Reverse table. Fingertips can be outside towards the edges of the mat, facing the back, facing anything in between. See how your wrists feel with this move. We're swinging the hips up, shining the heart through, or tucking the tailbone under, and then we're going to rock back without dropping our butt down. 
up, so it's gonna go down, but it's not gonna sit. We're gonna try not to land. Hips up, hips to wrists. Four, three, two, grip into the fingers, protect those wrists. One, hold it up. Turn your right hand towards the front of the mat. Lift your left arm. Swing the hips up. Left foot is now going to flip over to lizard lunge. Did we get there? Like we were doing before, back foot taps front foot. Come back. Now, that scorpion where the knee flips over, land. Pistol squat. Did we get there? Pistol step forward onto right foot. Drive up into the legs. Three, two, everything in threes and fours today. One, come back through pistol. <sighs> Malasana, have a seat. Back through reverse table or crab. Hips swing up, swing back, swing up, swing back. Three, <sighs> two, one, stay here. Take the hand, left hand towards the top of the mat, reach the right arm up, hips up like you're gonna go into a back bend. Look down, right foot swings to outside of right hand. Back foot taps in, comes back, right foot swings up, land on it, don't put your butt down, push off your left hand. Pistol, shake out those wrists. Charge forward, drive it up. Three, two, one, back through pistol. Shift back, try not to fall, it's okay if you do. Molasana, have a seat. Check in, slide your hands up to opposite wrists and tuck the chin down. Nice deep breathing here. Big breath into the back side of the body and let it go. Bring your booty to the middle of your mat. We're gonna lower down to the sacrum and shoot the legs out. Low boat, right knee tucks, low boat, left knee tucks, and both. Tuck knees to nose, arms to sky. Low boat, right knee. Think of fl reverse flying Crow, tap the knee to the tricep, low boat, left flying crow, low boat, and then crow pose. Hold it here, three, two, one, one more set. Flying crow right, low boat, flying crow left, low boat, double. Can we rock to the feet and do crow pose on the feet? Momentum, land. Keep the knees into the armpits, shoot the energy forward, float up. Option to swing the hips up, push the shoulders down, chaturanga. Up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in and out, going back to those jumps. Right knee is gonna tuck into the chest, push the earth away. Now, we're gonna swing the right leg up and the left knee is gonna tuck. So right knee tucks, bend, left knee tucks. Right knee tucks, knee to nose, left knee to chest. Right knee to nose, left knee touches chest and belly. Lower down, left knee tucks. Bend the right knee, right knee tucks. Bend the left knee, down dog tuck. Hands down tuck, right knee touches chest. Left knee touches nose, right knee touches chest. Release it down. Come on back and have a seat. Awesome job today. Take some neck circles, cat cow, circle right, circle your body to the left. Swing those feet forward. Scoot yourself forward, inhale, and exhale forward, fold. Slow roll to your mat. Tuck the pelvis under, lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Three, 
two, one. Hold the body apart. Toes to the front of the mat now. Hands behind you. Big breath in, big sigh out. Cactus the elbows. And give yourself a nice big squeeze. So here's a little couple minutes for Yogi's Choice time, whether you want to try some back bending, maybe you feel like plow or shoulder stand. I'm gonna leave this up to you while I just play with a little bit of back bending. Listen to your body, see what's calling you as we close the class. Possibly bridge. Maybe plow. Ear pressure. free to continue to play. Otherwise, I'm making circles on the spine. One way, massaging that low back into the earth. Down by the tailbone, hips down, hips curl forward up to the mid back. Spinal twist, drop the knees one way, turn your gaze in opposition. Big breath in and out. Knees float the other way. Turn your gaze. Draw shoulders down into the earth. Stacking hips and knees. Big breath in. Big sigh out. Any restorative pose that your body's calling, go ahead and get there. Allow your body to melt into the earth, softening the eyebrows, forehead, jaw, and tongue. Allow that to melt into the ears and scalp and down the neck and shoulders. Picture that relaxation floating down the spine through each vertebra and into the low back, into the hips and the belly, quads, knees, calves and shins, ankles and toes, down the arms to the fingertips. Be proud of all you've accomplished. Feel good in what you were able to do. But even if you couldn't do everything, you can always come back and I bet you'll get more and more with each practice. I will leave you here. It was an honor to practice with you today. Thank you so much for being here. Comment so I know you were here and you can tell me how it went for you. Thank you. I will see you soon. Bye.